And hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Outlaw PD Gaming. I am Outlaw PD. It's Christmas Eve and normally I'd be out hanging out with uh, family, but uh, here in western Pennsylvania we've got nasty weather. Uh, I got a sound of ice pellets, ice pellets hitting on the metal for our wood burner piping and so I know it's pretty nasty out there so I thought well, since I'm not going anywhere since our plans were changed might as well hop on and stream it was either that or watch a Hallmark movie and um, you all know how they're all those are going to end there'll be dilemma about 20 minutes before the end and a miraculous recovery at the end so now that I've spoiled all Hallmark movies for you, let's see if I can spoil WWE Champions 2021. Hopping into the game here, getting ready to start up, continuing working on League Level 4. Where last time I had reached uh, 10 superstars. Roster power of 12,800. I only had one objective left to finishing League Level 4, and that was earned 4,000 League points. So we'll see if I um, can knock that out tonight. Hopping into our mail and our inventory to clean stuff up. Uh, and hundred and sixty shards for Bree. Some tokens. A few common tokens. Twenty-five training points. Purple, nice. And we have a message from Scopely. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. We want to wish you the happiest of holidays from the Champions Development Team. Thank you for being a great fan and for playing the game. Enjoy these presents from us to you. So let's see what's in these presents. First, we got a safe. Wow, this is gorgeous. A four-star chance for a four-star gold token, which I won't need for a while. 300 TP, which would be wonderful. Three epic tokens. Something else I can need later on. Buy a five-star silver token. 10,000 DB Aussie diamonds. And two million coins, which would probably be the Either the TP or the 2 million coins would be the thing I need the most right now. Let's see what we get. An epic token. This will be a long time until I need that, but off to a good start there. Next, the 2018 Winter Madness Silver present. Uh, I must be repeating a gift, an old gift from before, but... Same thing, gold tokens, uh, four star silver tokens, 500 TP, some diamonds or some coins, 10,000 diamonds. Okay. Let's 
some more Brie shards. Ten more. Up to 780 there. There should be some eddy shards. Come on, a thousand. Twenty. And a box. Three to five items. TP, tokens, healing potions, props, coins. So, show of heart yellow, three red, ten heals. So, that's pretty nice. So, we have DB Aussie Diamonds. Let's go show those. Diamond four star loot. If you get 5,000 diamonds, you can uh, pull, open up a loot that contains exclusively four-star gold and four-star silver tokens. So I still won't need them anytime soon, but we'll open them up here since it's our first crack at them. And we're going to get two. And it's a uh, Trickster four-star gold NWO belt and an Acrobat four-star silver cape. And that counts as one of the daily missions, loot. So the daily missions are the biggest thing that we need to work on right now. We can knock out these two really fast. Level up a superstar move and level up a superstar. Last time we got Akira Tozawa. So let's level up something on him for both. Now, in previous episodes, I had the game sound all the way down, and um, but there's like a bug or some there's some issue where it still makes a sound for certain things, even though it's turned off completely. So I've tried to make some adjustments. So hopefully the game sounds you're hearing them all now, but hopefully they're at a uh, reasonable level. If they're not, feel free to send me a comment and let me know, and I'll keep tinkering with it hopefully get it to a good level okay so takes care of those two We only need 60 points, or we can we max at 60 points for the day. So let's uh, we'll go to Friday Night Superstars. Friday night is the Striker Tour. Go with rock because showboats have the advantage against strikers. And he's ready for now.
start off against striker Triple H. I think there's a Triple H for almost every class in the game at this point. Uh, might not be a technician, but other than that. Uh, yellows, blacks, blues... Nothing here that I need. That'll set up the blue move nicely and we should be able to end it from here. the best, most profitable choice. All right, we got a early win here. Tonight's drink of choice is Fireball Eggnog. It's a non-alcoholic cinnamon eggnog. It tastes like Fireball whiskey, but on the carton they suggest that you add fireball to it and I'm always one for uh, there we go um, peer pressure fireball cinnamon whiskey 66 proof we'll hop back here now because All I needed to do was finish one match to get the reward. Okay, so we need 1,400 more points from here. There's 200. 12 to go. 9 to go. Six to go. So next time I stream, we should finish that one off. Daily reward. So I have a thousand loot coins now. I could use them today, but we'll hang on to them until we go to level five. See if there's any new superstars that we can get from that. Head on down to the showdown. Okay, so if I win one to two matches, I can get ten Neville Comets. And a few more, I can get five Red TP. Right now, the only acrobat I have is Tazawa, and we're all right in the comments department, so. So let's take a look at Austin. We need Four hand exercisers and four 
JBL Bighorns. We also need a bunch of black TP, so. With today's tour, we should be able to get him to four-star silver. Or, I'm sorry, two-star silver. Four-star silver would be amazing. So let's hop back in. Some yellows to start off nicely. If you have any Christmas wishes that you hope the WWE fills, uh, feel free to um, let me know in the chat. Me personally, I'd like them to sign uh, Curtis Axel back and actually use him. Now, strikers have the most damage, so the class advantage will help me here a little bit by toning them down. Or actually, strikers and powerhouses, I'm not sure which one has the... Well, I think strikers do. At 2,000 there just off a of basic move. So let's have a uh, sir. Yeah, I don't see any good way of um, getting more loot gems combining moves, so we'll go ahead and take the finisher here. As long as we get one somewhere, we're happy. Now, normally I stream on Friday nights after SmackDown, but with tomorrow being Christmas, I probably won't. And even if I uh, would, there's the uh, Faction Feud event going on that would be on normally when I would stream, so... I may have a special short episode coming up, though. I'm about to move into League Level 15 with my main account, and I've been saving up loot coins, so do a 
40 League 15 poll. My last two League 14 polls have been miserable. I think I got one four star and one three star combined out of both of them. So we're hoping there's some nice blues. Make a nice wild card right between those two loot gems and keep on collecting. Now there's the hand exercisers that we'll need to uh, level up Austin. Here's two of the keys that we'll need. It's always interesting when you're competing for the exact same colors, which ones the AI will go for, opposed to if they'll take ones that can slow you down. Good to see you, Hottie Tom. would you like to see me use tonight? And you can help me out since you're actually in the chat this evening. I've been messing with the game sounds. Let me know if it sounds good. Scotty too, hottie. He would have a uh, link with Rikishi. Yeah, there was uh, some comments saying that uh, at times the game sound was too loud, so I tr um, tried turning it down. It had been off completely, but for some reason the game still output some of the sounds at an appropriate time, so... Still learning and trying to put on the put out the best product that I can. We'll change it up here and go with a little bray. Uh, 
black, red, and purple. Sometimes that's one of the things that will annoy you with this game. You'll be sitting there and it's like, okay, I want uh, the best moves to come out of what I can. And then they'll reshuffle the board right before their turn. And, oh, wow, look at that. There's a wild card or a row breaker, a column breaker, exactly what they need from the shuffle while you're stuck with one move that can't help you at all. All right, so I'm going to get hit with a bleed move. So bleed moves. Tornado DDD, DDT, deal 1,244 damage and deal 478 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. So I just took 478 at the beginning of this turn, and I'll take 478 next turn. And there's so many gem games out there and you can almost find a game for almost any theme that you like. And so I enjoy this one being a WWE fan, but I think there's like ones based off of uh, the Avengers and other... Uh, sci-fi things or fantasy things. I don't know why I didn't hit my finisher there, but I will now. And it's been the one nice thing so far. It was still early in the process. The only issue I ran into was the... Uh, I'll have to redo that one. Uh, we'll come back to it. The uh, League One bug. Now, that's one area where I wonder like, if Scopely tech support has good communications between themselves or has a good database of the issues and work together. I went into my email and initially when I started my support question about the League One bug, I started and it was through the portal and that was email based. Well, I was using an account that I don't check often so I then downloaded the game onto a tablet and then sent the request through the tablet because that's more text-based and something that I'd follow up on more. And I was just checking that email account today and uh, all right, I got an email saying, uh, do you still have this issue? And um, yeah, if they had a log or communications from other support they would know that uh, I didn't I had the, the issue probably still exists within the game but I had gotten past it now, I don't know how big their support department is but
I should get the necessary red gems. Roman is so slow. That's an interesting su uh, suggestion. I w that would work, but uh, I don't know if uh, your uh, faction has a chat um, or a server. Uh, 5SP has a Discord server, and anytime the game's down for any brief amount of time, everyone's complaining, like, oh my god, the game's down, when is it going to come back up? It's like a, an addiction. If you can't play the game, it's miserable. Well, let's go with Austin. I don't think he has any links with any of the females that I have. Okay, black, yellow, green. A real nice start there. Unfortunately, it caused a pin, so I don't get the next additional turn, but some nice damage right out of the gate. The blacks and the yellows also help page, and the greens are a move that creates yellows, so these two will work well together. Uh, let's pick these ones because it'll get the reds above them. Yeah, there's some people that spend some real good money on this game. Um, for my other account, uh, I had all the necessary characters for the daily goal yesterday. So I completed all of them and still only finished in like 72nd place. And so I, I was a mile away from... Uh, the top so people had pumped a good bit of money opening up loot coins to earn the bonus points for that to get to the top like no thank you i'll occasionally throw a couple bucks here or there but to be at the top all the time. Um, it's interesting the ideas that Scopely comes up with to try to make the game less one character based, I guess. Um, it's like 
uh, like you mentioned, the AI with dodge and metals. Some people had characters that were just so super powered and one move and it was done. And you still have that essentially with tours, but with like the faction feuds that you'd run into a lineup with one God character and a whole bunch of crap and it would just run over everything in front of it. So adding the bonus points to by using different characters and things like that. Now with the uh, snowfall gems, maybe that'll make the freeze gems actually useful. Okay, so this is going to upgrade those protect gems there. Well, they waste a turn to get rid of them. No. Okay, so I'm not ready to finish Rhonda off with Paige, and she has a move ready. So I'm going to tag here so that hopefully I can finish this with Austin. No, Austin's already under, so I'll have to redo this match too to move on to hard. Just go with your best characters when you're doing stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, Hogan. Seems like so many of the newer characters are the uh, really high level and really rare so that the people will throw money to try to get them. And then even if you do get them, you have to take all, all the resources to get them leveled up and but like you said, it is a business there. Step one, make money. You just have to keep people on board to keep making money. Yeah, I've been playing for three years, so. They're at least doing something right with me, though they're not getting a ton of money from me, so. The one thing that uh, does drive me nuts is bugs that have been there for a while and still don't have a fix like the uh, showdown the opponent has been uh, attacked and can't be attacked again and you have no you have to refresh because every choice that you have is that same boat I had a uh, 
string yesterday where I went through four refreshes before getting a opponent I could actually fight. Okay, so her black is at three. We can steal two. And we're a while away from the finisher, so. Yeah, let's see. If, uh, it's been a long time uh, since I've done any programming, and uh, but it would seem like just a uh, one variable is this uh, superstar or this team active. Yes or no? If they've been attacked, they're not. But I guess it would take a decent bit of upkeep to change them from not active back to active. I don't know if that would be like timer based or <laughs> it's one thing to see the problem, it's another to know exactly what the solution would be. Okay, so we'll Pop the submission on here and get rid of those two power gems. And they're going to do what I was going to do anyway, so thank you. Can we get 8,000 right here? Actually, we don't need 8,000. We just need enough to. That he can't kick out of. The two protect gems should really help with that. So we'll... Hmm. Put them right there and there. That'll do a little bit of damage and break up that possible column break. Uh, we still get the pen, but that was a lot of damage. One, two. Good enough. I don't know what their um their offices in general are like either. Uh, I don't know if COVID has any effect on uh, tr troubleshooting problems as a team and things like that. I, I know they could use chats and things like that and uh, group calls, but. I know with my job, sometimes it's a lot easier to walk over and talk to someone so that you're both seeing the same things at the same time and you can bounce ideas off each other with COVID and remote working and things like that. It adds another element of challenge to it all. But still, as a business, that's something you need to be able to overcome. <laughs> uh, 
apparently my brother has the same idea I did. Can't get together for Christmas Eve? Go ahead and stream. Hasn't popped up here on my phone yet. When it does, I'll give him a shout out for people who like watching people play Fortnite. Okay, so we got an easy kick out here. We're one away there. So using this wild card, if we don't get a pin, it will create the one. There we go. We're definitely going to get the pin here. So can we benefit any. That'll get two more loot boxes there. I don't imagine I'll luck into five, but let's see what happens. None. <laughs> That'd be another interest. So many uh, computer games now have cash competitions. Could WWE champions ever have a tournament where people put up their lineups against each other? What would it take? And would there be enough? One, interest, and two, fairness within the game to make it entertaining. Okay, let's take a look at the roster. So, Austin. Still need two more keys. We'll see if we can get them on hard, but... That'll take care of that move. Eleven steel botch jumps. I wonder if anyone's ever used that move in their life. All right, so the moves are done. The levels are done. Just need to... I call them keys. They're bullhorns, actually. So let's take go back and take a look at the hard tour. So we got tape, training points. There they are right there. So two matches and we'll be able to level up Stone Cold. Or evolve Stone Cold. And let's run some KO matches.
We'll move Bray from the rock to Kevin. And he is already max level, so... Once again, having a trainer helps, as I'll have a move ready on turn two. That one right there, right there. Get that one. Come on, it's Christmas. You can at least give me what I want. No blues, blacks, or greens, so let's... I guess block is purples. It'll be, it will be interesting to see when Seth and Becky both return during the new year. I imagine we'll see Seth first at the uh, Royal Rumble. Will Becky be ready to come back at that point? Hard to say. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that takes the uh, Messiah to a whole different level, doesn't it? Wow, that would be a really twisted storyline. The child of a god. Wouldn't be the first time WWE used the uh, characters' kids in storylines. It's always interesting um, how certain couples get recognized as being together and they work them into stuff and then other couples they just shit on. Like the Canalises uh, when they were there. 
that storyline was just dumb. Natalia and Tyson Kidd. We're together, we're not together. In the internet age, people uh, know all this stuff, so... There was talk of uh, Charlotte and Andrade doing coming to get back together and doing something, and see that didn't happen. At least not yet. Come on. There was um, part of it that was uh, going on in real time, but would uh, I mean maybe they agreed to work it into a storyline, but. I don't know when you're trying to work out something like that. Uh, that was another, uh, the uh, Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Angle uh, dealing with Karen Angle. But he, uh, Kurt was fine with it, so. Okay, so we need 2,000. This will be 4,800. Oh, this is a once move, so put it somewhere good. Yeah, that's fine. Sometimes when you're in the know, it makes it a little more entertaining. Like uh, listening to um, Corey's commentary about uh, Carmella. You can work in uh, inside jokes for things like that. So we're getting up here into the topper ones, so stick the Rocky. Uh, 
Not a bad start there. Uh, which rumors were that are you talking about? Well, um, I live in Western Pennsylvania and, uh, Corey has a place, uh, in Pittsburgh and I have, uh, some friends who are big wrestling fans and they've said they've seen the two of them together. So now was that before, uh, he wasn't married, who knows, but. It wouldn't be surprising anymore in the world. Okay, so we need about 3,400 of gem damage. And we get 1,300. This one could get close. He's his two moves are going to put me really close. So I need to well this this is gonna help a lot right there. Look at the board and make sure there isn't anything obvious before doing all the math. Could have been in danger if there wasn't a wild card sitting right there in front of me. So I'll let you decide where I should go after I finish these two matches. You want to see some Dead Man Daily or the next men's tour that I have or the next women's tour or I could do some showdown matches. Okay, we're going to definitely change this up here. That Triple H is so much stronger than... <laughs> Three-star silver. I don't know about that. Hmm. Let's max up page here. Make this a little bit stronger. And let's try it out. A two star silver. Now, 
this is just wasting superstars. It's only for five tape rolls. Those are easy enough to come by. The hat's a little bit nicer. Let's go try to get that. Oh, I still don't like my chances. I got a better chance of this one than I do of that match. Left me a wild card that had a row break to go with it. Come on. Just don't step on the mute button. There you go. Good thing I have this MP stealer. Or I'd be running back to rock because that's a lot of green depending on what she gets out of this we still very well may that's Rhonda with moves is scary Yeah, as much as I want to use the finisher here. Make a random black into an X break. And make three random blacks. And her being a striker, that's a lot of damage, so. Yeah, let's try to get two pins out of this. Even though I have the pin ready because of where the pin bar was, I'm going to do that one first. If he kicks out, which he probably will, it moves it back to the middle. But I'm... Oh boy, that's... going to be trouble. Forgot about the tag. Well, there's only four black gems on the board, so. Might get some luck out of this. Okay, five if you count my protect gem. So we need to hope the X break ends up on one of. Uh, no, nah, <laughs> no matter unless it ends on this one right here, or on top of my protect gem. Still, her finisher is going to be ready. So, unless I get the win right now, we're done. <laughs> Now 
Not quite ready to do these last two yet. Tag, tag, tag. Nope. That's okay. We're not ready for carts anyway. So now we have all the necessary items to enhance Mr. Austin. Add him to the two star silver crew. Now that's going off the normal path. Most people would normally have done Bray first just because of his MP trainer ability. It's much more valuable than anything Austin has, but I'm trying to be a little bit different. Okay, so Natalia. I'd have 15 one star gold, 47 two star silver. Fifteen one star gold. Yeah, she's not gonna slow Natalia down, so go ahead. Let's upgrade Stephanie as well. So now if I get the right uh, training points, I'll have an option real soon. Do I move Stephanie or Natalia to two-star gold? I think most of the roster guides would say Stephanie. But we'll see. <laughs> five-star typhoon seen a good number of him he's pretty good and then austin yeah you see lots of high level stephanie's you don't see too many high level natalia's but they do come up every once in a while okay so Since we upgraded Stephanie, let's head out to the women's road here. Let's put her to work. Yeah, we'll stick with that move set. And she doesn't have a trainer on her. And neither, since I'm not using her submission, that one doesn't do much good. That one doesn't do any good. So it's just gems doing extra damage. The only one she really cares about is Jello, but. We'll just 
Runner solo. Yeah, that's the thing with the stun lock people. Um, it's not about how strong they are. It's uh, how quickly can they recycle their stun moves. I mean, if you can keep your opponent stunned for uh, ever, sure, it takes a, more time at the lower levels if you're doing a, uh, a showdown or a faction feud and you're trying to get through them quickly, but if time isn't a, a necessary constraint, then Yeah, I used to be fearful every time I saw an Austin in a showdown. And I would stay away from it. But now there's a bunch that I fear more than more than him. Because even if I do get a stunned, he usually doesn't have enough damage to keep the stun long on long enough that I don't get back around and it hurts for healing potions but it doesn't necessarily mean a loss whereas Hogan Hogan just it's game over the majority of the time yeah I got Ember Moon as well in the, in that uh, free case That's the one interesting thing about the um, five star silver coming out now. I was looking and like, okay, what show or what powerhouse do I want to do next? But I don't have anything past four star bronze. And even the ones I have at four star bronze need a ton of leveling, except for. Naya, and I'm not going to touch her since she isn't all that great. So I might as well just hang on to the tokens and hopefully in time I'll get uh, Bam Bam to four star or five star silver. This board has not been friendly. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, she, um, yeah, Nia is the only female powerhouse. I oh no, I own. Uh, I just got Zombie Charlotte at the end of the zombie em event in October. So I do have two powerhouses now, but even still, she's two star gold. So 
she ain't worth a damn at this point. And I still don't own any striker females. All right, that did not go well. Sometimes the board just doesn't allow you to hit a move. So have you gotten the tokens for all of the 12-day um, gifts? And if so, what are you thinking about doing with them? Are you going to get the Vader with gear or going to use them for some of the smaller things? Lots of purple on the board, but not connecting anything with that one. Yeah, which skill plate is it? Is it? I know I'm definitely going for the Vader, um, since Bam Bam is um, my best character right now, and uh, he is a tag team link with Vader. Uh, gems do 20% more damage, so that's... An extra dose of Fury is always nice. I already have one uh, set of Fury uh, medals on him and getting close to having enough to get the second set. Being able to do moves just makes such a difference. Oscar ran through Stephanie, and it's almost like she has, hasn't touched uh, Natty. Okay, that'll put her in danger. Just need to finish it up here. She didn't get a cascade, so... We're going to take this. I've heard people say at five star she's good, but I've never seen her at five star to know if that's truthful or not. I have her at four star silver and I don't mind using her, but she's so damn slow.
So what do you think of the R-Truth trial? <laughs> yeah, I definitely would take DX Sean over him. I mean, he seems usable, but he's not the A plus tier, but Who is your best uh, acrobat? Mine is a four star gold Eddie. Another character that's very usable, but tends to be slow in showdowns and feuds. Now, since she has all these change color turn gems here, I want to put my submissions as far away from them as possible. And they can change and break all they want. Yeah, Ray's pretty solid too. Uh, but I haven't done a damn thing with him since I, I getting him last month. He always goes into my I'm throwing the match lineup. Macho Man, Eddie, Bray, DX, Sean, and R Truth. Ah. Well, I've, I've never owned Macho Man. Uh, I hear he's good. I, I don't know enough about him to say for sure. I think Ray would be the most consistent of the five. It all depends on what you're using them for, too. Like, I use Eddie for a uh, grinding because he has the low... MP health steal and the submission. I can get through a lot of tours without needing many healing potions at all with just him. But for uh, feuds and showdowns, uh, yeah, probably either Ray or Sean.
be interesting to see what the guides say on that. Okay, so her submit her her finisher is going to end the match if I don't win this turn. So I'm going to need a a miracle with the pin bar that far away. Or a different kind of miracle when the color turn gems result in a pen that doesn't do enough damage. Still, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference here. So you want to look for any place the possibility of cascades. That's my best miracle at this point. It looks like it would be here. And I got a red one to come down, but not, not quite enough. So it was close, but not close enough. But knocked off a couple matches in that tour and pretty soon I can have one of these females at four star or two star gold and go back and work on those a little bit more. For now, let's check the store, make sure I didn't miss any freebies today. I like that one. Still haven't got any Christmas trees from anything, so I can't do anything with that. Okay. I think all of these are still token based. Yeah. Go do a showdown or match or two. Two star gold or two two star silvers, two star silver, so one star, so Nexus, 40% less from black. I mean, he's got a double Nexus and PG, so. Now for this, I should be going with my best line, which would be two of the two-star silver guys, but. Hopefully I can take out a 5,280 health Dean Ambrose.
He's being feisty, that's for sure. The fireball eggnog with fireball in it. Delicious. Though I recommend this the fireball eggnog without if you're not a drinker, but like cinnamon eggnog. Okay, so we got a two star gold, a pair of two star silvers, and a three star. Let's try it, this one. a pretty nice break for him. Okay, so I want those blues if I can hang on to them. Yeah. Okay, so he uses his black move into his blue, and his blue becomes heels, and this could become a really long match. So I need to convince him to make a tag and then finish Roman quickly once the tag is made. Still being at near full health, he has no reason to tag, but... Maybe with the right persuasion. Finishers certainly help with that. luck there a wild card allowing me to jump right into a move and another pin
The only problem is I haven't broke much to help Cena, or at least it doesn't appear that I have. Okay, so I'll have the blue move ready next turn, which will create yellows. Hopefully I can get that in place. We'll take these six gems here. Decisions. Yeah, let's just take the whole column break here. That was the right decision because now thousand for this. Thirty seven hundred, that'll do thirty two. Three blacks into yellow. That's not going to break anything. Yeah, I've never taken part in one of those. Uh, the uh, forum feedbacks. There are some streamers that have uh, contests uh, in the forums as well. And haven't signed up for any of them either. Oh, you got to take this one. They're going to give it to me. Two one stars. He's in danger and he's done. Okay, so right there, I, I've reached 286 now, so I've leagued up. I was in Regional League 3, where the max was 108. Now I'm in Regional League 2, where the max is 156, for a range of 250 to 299. 
and they have regional, then lightweights, professional, U.S., intercontinental, world. And then this right here is right where I am in my other account. I was in World League One until yesterday, then I cracked Headliner League Three. It goes all the way up to Legend. Legend is where the big boys play. So I have 294 coins. I could buy the red TP or the 10 Neville Comets or the 10 tape. Now they often have put superstars in here too. If I had a thousand, I could get a one star gold Naomi. So right now we'll just hang on to those. So doing a little bit of planning ahead. Need still need a ton of tokens for showboats or strikers. Says I was the only acrobat I have and I haven't touched them yet, but still need one token to do anything with him. Ko is the only tech I have. Still need a ton of tokens there. Though, interestingly enough, we've got three of the five earmuffs already. So if I did one Saturday, I could finish that one off and just be a matter of getting all the rest. This will probably be the first one that I get to two star gold. I can get those. Well, it won't be next Tuesday unless my family event ends early or gets canceled. Still need a ton for powerhouses and need a full set for showboats. And back to the beginning. We're doing okay on funds. I think we can go through them pretty quickly, but for now we're all right. Have 55 heal potions, so no major danger of running out of those. Clean these up. Get my epic token that I won't use for a very, very, very long time. Four star gold Bob Backlund bow tie. Be interesting uh, element of the game. If you could trade down tokens, like if I could trade that for Uh, green tokens that I need, tech tokens that I need. A few common tokens there. And a few scarce ones here.
As we mentioned last time, I'm not going to make day 28 and get the guaranteed free for day 30. What's 600 TP? Oh, okay, so six items. A bunch of nice things in there. But I don't have to worry about it because I'm not going to recheck. So there's no hope of any free superstars that way, through except for luck. And then the loot with the keys. I'll have a hundred when I actually go collect today's, but I there isn't ten days left for me to get another thousand for one of those, so Yeah, trade up uh, would also be really nice. So at this point it looks like my, the plan my plan of attack will be Get to League 5. Maybe there will be some new superstars. Well, by getting to League 5, I'm going to get a... Back up. A two-star bronze Jeff Hardy and five rare tokens. And we're going to unlock factions. league contests and league limited time tour so yeah the game's really gonna open up there that's gonna be nice actually yeah since i didn't notice that i could do that league one just open up the nxt tour League two was the daily free bag, the daily missions, chat, and the WWE live tour. Come on. League three was the women's evolution tour. The normal modes and the dead man's daily. Come on. Stay where you're supposed to. League Fours, Entourage, Daily Showdowns, the European Tour, Hard Modes, and Dead Man Daily Hard to Modes. Oh, so League 8 is it's where I'll find a Bam Bam. Okay. Know how to use him. All right. Well, thank you for joining me tonight, Hottie Tom. And thank you, everyone, who's been following the streams on either YouTube or watching them on Twitch while they're still out there. If you would like to follow along, the YouTube links, tinyurl.com slash outlawpdgaming. If you want to see my roster and all the superstars that I've gotten along the way, it's same thing, tinyurl.com slash outlawpdroster. Information about the stream when I remember to post it. It will be on twitter.com slash outlawpd. Uh, thank you for all the feedback I've gotten so far. I hope people are enjoying this. Uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. My next stream will most likely be probably next Wednesday night when we'll reach league level five. 
But if I don't happen to get on before then, hopefully everyone has a happy new year. And 2021 goes a lot better than 2020 certainly has. Thanks again for watching. Merry Christmas. Talk to you later.